I'm sitting here with Shafeli Agarwal, who is the founder and CEO of something called the Ivy Group. And I thought this was like an amazing resource because we know so many young women and men, of course, that mm -hmm. are applying to business school. And that yep. can be such a daunting process that you're here to not only share what your new company is, because we met many, many years ago, but mm -hmm. I also want to know how you're helping others to decipher that process. Shafali. Sure, absolutely. Well, Joy, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, so Ivy Group is a boutique MBA admissions consulting company um, where the focus is really on helping applicants navigate the entire um, MBA application process because it can be a very in-depth process to go through from start to finish. Um, I really got interested in the field, um, I, I would say as a student at HBS. Um, so I got my MBA from Harvard Business School um, and when I was at HBS, I had the opportunity to work directly with the admissions office um, in my role as VP of admissions at the Women's Student Association. And so I collaborated with the Associate Director of Admissions um, as a link between current female students on campus and prospective and admitted women. Um, and through that process, really got a very strong understanding of what the top tier MBA business schools are looking for um, when it okay. comes to candidates. So this is where I gotta jump in, because what in the world are they looking for? <laughs> yeah, that's a really great question. So the first is is really being able to convey who you are as a person. So authenticity is really a key aspect of what schools are looking for and is, is a focus of, of, what, of what I do in, in my role. Um, and within authenticity, I would say there are three areas that schools really wanna see. You know, one is they wanna understand that you are true to yourself. Um, so essentially what you've done, what you've seen, your experiences are unique to you. No one else has those exact same experiences. So it's being able to, to add context around your personal, professional, and, and academic experiences. Um, it's being able to speak from your heart. Um, the business school application process is more about the why than the what. Um, anyone can really just talk about their accomplishments, but it's really that additional color with respect to the perspectives that you've gained, the, the lessons that you've learned, maybe the obstacles that you've overcome that really distinguish you from, from other applicants. And it's, it's this idea of being human. Um, ultimately, schools want to build a class of um, interesting people who can share their experiences. Um, beyond that, business schools are looking for people who can demonstrate leadership. Um, in all capacities of their lives, so both professionally and on the extracurricular side. Um, and they're also looking for people who can you know, take initiative, who can creatively solve problems, um, just to name a, a few of the qualities. Okay, so let me see if I can recap. They're looking for someone to be very authentic and sharing their story. It helps that if you have supporting evidence from your own life story to be able to back that up. They're looking for leadership, they're looking for a problem solver, and they're looking for someone who can work with teams. That's exactly right. I got it, I got it. I think maybe you know a news director once said to me very, very long time ago, Joya, stop trying to be who you think a news anchor should be and just be yourself because yep. that is the most unique thing you bring to the table and it sounds like that's what you're saying as well. Absolutely. I, I, too many times I see candidates trying to put together applications that they think the admissions committee wants to read um, and the ones that are truly the most successful are the ones where people focus on who they are as a person. Um, and draw upon their unique experiences. I bet you must have so many examples of people that you've helped and you've taken them from inception all the way through accept, uh, you know, accepting, obviously, entry into um, business school. Do you have one example that really stands out that you wanna share? Absolutely, so I worked with uh, a client. She was an Indian woman. Um, she was in her low 30s. I would say she was around 32 or 33 years of age. Um, she was living in India and she was a serial entrepreneur. And interestingly, as a woman, um, as a female entrepreneur in India, she faced a lot of obstacles in terms of getting funding, um, people not really um, you know, agreeing to her ideas or just saying that she couldn't do it because she was a woman. Um, and so you know, after working with her, really sort of teased out this whole um, quality of hers with respect to being resilient and persistent. And this was a quality that she was able to demonstrate not only professionally, but also personally, um, and she was ultimately accepted to Stanford. So it was really, you know, being true to who she was um, that really helped her uh, you know, be successful in this process. So you're offering an amazing resource to really kind of help people distill who they are. And sometimes you need some coaching and that's what you're there for. Exactly. All right, how do folks get in touch with you? Sure, so they can just uh, shoot me an email at info at ivygroup.com and that's info at ivy. G R O U P E dot com. And what is your website? Sure, it's just ivygroup.com.
Okay, this is Shefali Agarwal. We go back many, many years when Lady Drinks first started and we're having a little bit of tea at the Baccarat Hotel. I'm Joya, we'll see you soon.